morning, Tennessee High School. Today is Friday, November 13th. I'm Haley. And I'm Speens, and you're watching Viking News. The 2016 Tennessee Governor's School applications are now available and can be accessed online. The Tennessee Governor's School includes 12 summer programs for gifted and talented, rising 11th and 12th grade students. Applications should be submitted by counselors on behalf of the student prior to the stated deadline. Please see Ms. Skeens to submit your applications. The Tennessee High School softball team is currently selling Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. The cost is $8 a box and will be delivered Friday, November 20th. If you're interested in purchasing a box, please see Mr. Clerk in room 2217 to sign up or any Lady Viking softball player. All orders must be prepaid by November 12th by cash or check made out to THS Softball. The THS swim team is beginning a new year with a new head coach. Katie Barker has the story. The Tennessee High swim team is just starting their 2015-2016 season. Mary Johnson has been named the new head swim coach. Last year, she was the Vance Middle School coach, so there are similarities and differences between middle school and high school coaching. It's, uh, there, it, it's still the same basic fundamentals of swimming and competing. Um, you have a little bit of a higher uh, degree of um, performance in the high school, but for the most part, it's, it's just very similar. A new coach comes with new rules, and Coach Johnson has some changes in mind. Well, we uh, are going to institute a varsity and junior varsity level swim team um, where varsity requires a little bit more commitment on the part of the swimmer. They need to attend an average of five practices per week to remain on varsity, and those students on varsity will travel to more meets and have an opportunity to do an out-of-town overnight meet. Coach Johnson has high expectations for the team this year. I just want to uh, help each child, each swimmer, get to their fullest potential, um, learn good work ethic, good nutrition, good habits of an athlete so that hopefully those habits will stay with them for life. As the first swim meet is coming up soon, we have high hopes for the swim team this year. I'm Katie Barker reporting for Viking News. Attention THS seniors, representatives from Jostens will be back in the cafeteria this Friday during all lunches to take your graduation supply orders. If you did not see them last week, please be prepared to stop by this week. The deadline for avoiding a late fee on your orders is December 10th. Now here's Katie and Morgan with your weather forecast and Cafe Watch. Good morning, Tennessee High. I'm Katie with your weather forecast. Today will be partly cloudy with a 0% chance of rain. There will be a high of 55 and a low of 30. Tomorrow will be sunny with a 0% chance of rain and a high of 51 and a low of 31. Head back to the studio for your cafe watch. In sports news, Ohio State quarterback J.T. Barrett will pay a $400 fine and have his license suspended for six months after pleading guilty Tuesday to operating a vehicle under the influence. Barrett must complete the class and pay the fine by February 15th or face jail time. In local news, many people remember veterans on certain holidays and often don't include Christmas. The local chapter of the Rolling Thunder is aiming to change that through their annual Wreaths Across mm -hmm. America campaign. For just $15, people can purchase a wreath that will be laid on the graves at the VA National Cemetery in Johnson City. Organizer Bob Rambo says so far they have sold the most wreaths so far and are aiming to sell wreaths for all 14,000 graves. You can purchase a wreath until November 26th and the wreath laying ceremony will be on December 11th. In national news, former soap opera actor Nathaniel Marston died after being seriously injured in a car crash in Reno, Nevada. Police believe Marston was fatigued and fell asleep while driving. The actor was thrown from the vehicle through the windshield and several vertebrae in his neck and back were crushed when he landed. That's all for Viking News. Have a fantastic Friday.